Hey guys, if you're wondering what I'm up to now, the thing is we have been cleaning a shed which is quite tiny and we had to clear up, we had to clean up that space for which, I mean, look at this cute little bicycle, it's a little super so pretty is this, isn't it? I mean, we had to get rid of this bicycle for which my heart didn't agree and I said no we're not going to get rid of this cute little bicycle I'm going to keep it it's definitely for a keepsake and I'm not going to give it away now there's hardly any space in the house either so you know I <laughs> I came up with this idea and I'm going to try this now for which I'm not sure how it's going to work but I'm I've got this idea and when I get an idea I've got to work it out so stay with me for now i've started cleaning this bicycle i'm going to give it a good wipe clean it and then take it inside the house and stay with me to know what i'm going to do with this bicycle it's a lovely diy idea and i've got to try this out it's all clean nice shiny and sparkly i'm going to take this inside the house now it's very cold here so I'll do the rest of the things inside the house. Okay now the plan is to get the bicycle into Sanika's room and move this carpet. I'm going to fold this carpet and keep the bicycle in this place. Okay, there were a few things that I really wanted to mention at this point. Uh, first thing, I got rid of the bell. It wasn't even working, but it's not the reason because it wasn't working. Mainly to do with the alignment. Um, it was right at the top, so I really wanted to get rid of the bell. And the second thing is, made sure to get the handle right at the bottom to the point it can go down. And mm, the seat, I've completely unscrewed uh, seat now the next step what i have in mind is i'm using this dandia stick which was at home um now you can use any stick or any rod which you have at home the main reason is with to do with the size the color as well because it's pink in color i thought this would be the right option and the right stick to choose and to go ahead because i can easily camouflage with the idea what i have in mind so i'm going to place this stick into the rod space over here and now the seat also has the slot over here which can easily fit into the stick and it can stay now the main reason is i'll move the camera and i'll show you all i'm looking for something which can i can place something right here and i'm looking for a level up right now the rod is moving so i'm going to make it stable by using a nano tape which is a self adhesive tape i'm going to stabilize this using this tape and seal it over here so that the rod doesn't move and it stays stable the nano tape is nicely sticking to the stick and the bicycle uh, metal piece but there is still a lot of gap here so i'm going to scrunch up some papers and i'm going to um, Fill this up in this little space over here. It's very stable at the moment. And I'm really happy about it. So I'm going to move ahead and work on the next step now. Now, this is how it's looking. Now, let's get the main element ready, which is the keyboard. Wow, that looks amazing, actually. Okay, so let's get it right before we glue it up. I just want to make sure it's perfect stable accurate before I glue this up and that looks perfect to me now this was the idea to make it as a keyboard stand so now that I'm happy with the way it is it's aligned it's straight it looks perfect it looks stable but to make it firm 
so that it doesn't shake when she's using i'm going to use the nano tape and fix it right underneath on all the parts which i can and make it more stable myself want to make sure it's stable um, because it's my little girl who's going to use it um, that looks absolutely perfect I've put the nano tapes on the seats and on both the sides of the handle um, nicely glued up the keyboard and the bicycle together it's not shaking it's not uh, moving it's quite stable it looks firm to me and now to hide this little bit of the rod uh, I mean it's still visible so let's make it more um, you know kind of um, not very seen so for which I'm going to use this teddy bear and I'm going to place this in this basket over here and let me place this and let's pull up this teddy bear here so that it's all covered up so let me strap this little fellow over here so he can hold on to his muffin right and yeah so here it is I'm going to move the camera so that you can have a clear visual of what I've done and if you want to try it for yourself at home this is the idea that I had in my mind and I'm so happy it worked so well uh, I mean absolutely happy very happy with outcome okay guys so let me show you how this is working I mean look at that what do you all think please 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 let me know in the comment section as to how you found this idea because I'm very happy. I'm very thrilled. Um, I had this idea in my mind when I was fast asleep and then I thought I'm going to give this a try and see how it works. If this is something that you want to try it for yourself, try it at home using your old bicycles, which you don't want to give away. I know how it feels being a mother. You don't want to give away anything, especially the little ones, you know, when they when they started off with anything, even the bicycles, um, you want to keep them for a keepsake and this is a beautiful idea that you can try it for yourself um, and also save up that little money um, not buying a stand for the keyboard you can just use this also it's a great decorative idea that um, it just uplifts something different something unique um, it's not something that you can see you get to see it everywhere in anybody's house um, and it's a lovely cute little um, DIY idea that you can try it for yourself. It hardly took 30 minutes of my time today to do this and I'm really happy with the outcome. So this is how it looks. But there are just a few things that it's very important that I need to mention. Um, very important, it needs to have the stabilizers on uh, because it needs to stabilize on both the sides and uh, not with a single side stand or anything. Um, this bicycle has stabilizers on both the sides. And the second important thing is that it cannot be moved it's fixed it's not going to move so you've got to make sure when this is done uh, it's mainly used like a keyboard stand when the keyboard is placed on it it is just like a stand it cannot move um, because the keyboard will obviously fall down if you try to do that and um, very important to bear in mind fix the nano tape everywhere as much as you can make it stable make it firm before you hand it over to your little one and also uh, the the handle and the seat has to be aligned uh, that's the only time you can get the keyboard right accurate and straight now this was the bicycle which we took for Sanika when she was three years old so it's really cute tiny and I had to raise the seat as you can see to the maximum point and I also placed a rod uh, to make it reach to a point which wherein I could manage to get the keyboard straight and I reduced the handle right at the bottom and the seat raised high and I'm really looking forward to see her use this on a daily basis. Share this video so that it can be useful to all moms and dads to reuse what they have at home, in their garage, in their shed and repurpose, reuse, upcycle all, all that you have at home and use it for good. So like this video, share this video, comment below and also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done. Thanks for watching. Bye.